Hello everybody, Keith Hershey here. Hope you're having a great day. You can be loved today. I tell you what, uh, summer season's winding down. It's amazing. We're coming up to Labor Day weekend and I always think that it's kind of the close of the summer, but it's like 102 degrees uh, here in the Life Center today. So it's uh, quite, uh, quite interesting just to uh, think that summer is closing down when it seems to be heating up. You know, speaking of heating up, you and I were followers of Jesus, we're disciples of Jesus, and that doesn't mean we just take time and let God love us. It, it, it should trigger us to be active in terms of being a dispensing sinner for the love of the Father. In other words, being about the Father's business. You know, there's a verse that Paul the Apostle wrote the church of Corinth. He says, be steadfast. That means you got some stability. You're anchored. Be steadfast, immovable. Don't be pushed off the assignment really God has for your life. Be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You know, sometimes we as believers don't like the idea that there's work involved or labor involved. It's not work to be accepted by the Father or anything of that nature, but it's it's a work in response because we're loved by the Father and we can be abounding in the work of the Lord and we can know that our labor is not in vain. I was thinking even today, you know, our labor doesn't necessarily mean we're out witnessing to everybody and that kind of thing, although that type of work is important, but it's, it's just in our daily routine, being involved in the environments of our world that we're in and conveying the goodness of God, the blessing of God, the, the, the favor of God to, to those around us. For example, today I received a text. Somebody just reminded me they're praying for me. They're laboring to the Lord on my behalf and praying for my strength. You know, that text really, really encouraged me. It really refreshed my soul, so to speak, that somebody was laboring on my behalf and praying for me. I got another message today from somebody who knew that we needed a, wash, a washing machine and a dryer for our, our orphanage, for our life kids in, in the Philippines. And you know, we have this orphanage, 28 kids, and there's so many needs all the time, and we needed a new wash machine and dryer. And somebody texted me and gave $1,000. Think of that. They, they gave $1,000 to get us a new washing machine and dryer on this project to bless people that they don't know, but yet they, they were laboring for the Lord, and their labor is not in vain. It was a gift. It was a financial gift. There's all kinds of things we can do. I received a phone call today, and somebody just I just reached out to help them through all kinds of pain and heartache and trouble, like we all experience, and they asked if I would take communion with them over the phone. It was a work of love. It was a labor which I enjoyed. I was thrilled because this is what we do in our, in our labor for the Lord. We're pointing people to the Lamb of God. We're reminding one another that all sufficiency is in Christ Jesus. And our capacity to, to, to extend that goodness to others all comes from us beholding Jesus and receiving of His love. And then let's be about the Father's business. Let's be steadfast. Let's be immovable. As we're approaching this Labor Day weekend, it's not just natural labor that we do. There's spiritual assignments that your life is designed for. So take time and let God love you and let him give you an assignment to help those around you. And let's bless our world together. Well, I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget because of Jesus, you can be assured that God loves you completely. And we do too.